Pigeon P, Wikipedia article audio. The pigeon P is a perennial legume from the family Fabaceae. Since its domestication in India at least 3,500 years ago, its seeds have become a common food grain in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. It is consumed on a large scale mainly in South Asia and is a major source of protein for the population of that subcontinent. Common Names The pigeon pea is known by numerous names with different etymologies, tropical green pea, gungo pea in Jamaica, gandal in Puerto Rico, tovar, tour, or arhar in India, red gram, and ganjol bean. FIO FIO in Igbo language. The cultivation of the pigeon pea goes back at least 3,500 years. The center of origin is probably peninsular India, where the closest wild relatives occur in tropical deciduous woodlands. Archaeological finds of pigeon pea dating to about 3,400 years ago have been found at Neolithic sites in Kalabaragi, Karnataka, and its border areas and also the South Indian states such as Kerala, where it is called Tamara Payaru. From India it travelled to East Africa and West Africa. There, it was first encountered by Europeans, so it obtained the name Congo pea. By means of the slave trade, it came to the American continent, probably in the 17th century. Origins Today, pigeon pea is widely cultivated in all tropical and semi-tropical regions of both the Old and the New Worlds. Cultivation World production of pigeon peas is estimated at 4.49 million tons. About 63% of this production comes from India. Africa is the secondary center of diversity and at present it contributes about 21% of global production with 1.05 million tons. Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, Mozambique and Uganda are the major producers in Africa. Seeds and Chafe the total number of hectares grown to pigeon pea is estimated at 5.4 million. India accounts for 72% of area grown to pigeon pea or 3.9 million hectares. Dehulling Methods Pigeon pea is an important legume crop of rain-fed agriculture in the semi-arid tropics. The Indian subcontinent, Eastern Africa, and Central America in that order, are the world's three main pigeon pea producing regions. Pigeon peas are cultivated in more than 25 tropical and subtropical countries, either as a sole crop or intermixed with cereals, such as sorghum, pearl millet, or maize, or with other legumes, such as peanuts. Being a legume capable of symbiosis with rhizobia, the pigeon pea enriches soil through symbiotic nitrogen fixation. Wet method Pigeon peas can be of a perennial variety, in which the crop can last three to five years, or an annual variety more suitable for seed production. The crop is cultivated on marginal land by resource-poor farmers, who commonly grow traditional medium and long-duration landrises. Short-duration pigeon peas suitable for multiple cropping have recently been developed. Traditionally, the use of such input as fertilizers, weeding, irrigation, and pesticides is minimal, so present yield levels are low. Greater attention is now being given to managing the crop because it is in high demand at remunerative prices. Dry Method Uses Genome Sequence Nutrition Pigeon peas are very drought resistant and can be grown in areas with less than 650 mm annual rainfall. With the maize crop failing three out of five years in drought prone areas of Kenya, 
a consortium led by the International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics aimed to promote the pigeon pea as a drought-resistant, nutritious alternative crop. Successive projects encouraged commercialization of legumes, by stimulating the growth of local seed production and agro-dealer networks for distribution and marketing. This work, which included linking producers to wholesalers, helped to increase local producer prices by 20-25% in Nairobi and Mombasa. The commercialization of the pigeon pea is now enabling farmers to buy assets, ranging from mobile phones to productive land and livestock, and is opening pathways for them to move out of poverty. John Spence, a botanist and politician from Trinidad and Tobago, developed several varieties of dwarf pigeon peas which can be harvested by machine, instead of by hand. Dehulling pigeon peas is an age-old practice in India. In earlier days hand pounding was common. Several traditional methods are used, that can be broadly classified under two categories. Involves water soaking, sun drying, and dehulling. Involves oil-slash-water application, drying in the sun, and dehulling. Depending on the magnitude of operation, large-scale commercial dehulling of large quantities of pigeon pea into its deskened, split version known as Tour Dal in Hindi, is done in mechanically operated mills. Pigeon peas are both a food crop and a forage-slash-cover crop. In combination with cereals, pigeon peas make a well-balanced human food. The dried peas may be sprouted briefly, then cooked, for a flavor different from the green or dried peas. Sprouting also enhances the digestibility of dried pigeon peas via the reduction of indigestible sugars that would otherwise remain in the cooked dried peas. In India, split pigeon peas, called tur in Marathi, tur dal in Hindi and arihar ki dal in Urdu, Kandi Papu in Telugu, Thuvara Paripa in Kerala and Thuvaram Parapu in Tamil Nadu, Togari Bele in Kannada are one of the most popular pulses, being an important source of protein in a mostly vegetarian diet. In regions where it grows, fresh young pods are eaten as a vegetable in dishes such as sambar. Whole pigeon peas are called arhar dal in Hindi. In Ethiopia, not only the pods, but also the young shoots and leaves are cooked and eaten. In some places, such as the Caribbean coast of Colombia, Dominican Republic, Panama and Hawaii, pigeon peas are grown for canning and consumption. A dish made of rice and green pigeon peas is a traditional food in the Dominican Republic. Pigeon peas are also made as a stew with plantain balls. In Puerto Rico, arroz con gandals is made with rice and pigeon peas and is a traditional dish, especially during Christmas season. Trinidad and Tobago and Granada have their own variant, called pilau, which includes either beef or chicken, and occasionally pumpkin and pieces of cured pig tail. In the Atlantico Department of Colombia the sopa de guanda con carne salada is made with pigeon peas. Unlike in some other parts of the Greater Caribbean, in the Bahamas the light brown colored dried seeds of the pigeon pea plant are used to make the heartier, heavier, signature Bahamian staple dish peas and rice. A slab of partially cubed or diced pork fat back lard with skin on diced onions and sweet pepper, and a mixture of spices are also sautéed in the bottom of a deep pot. Tomatoes and tomato paste are added. Then water is added along with the peas and rice, and slow boiled until tender. The dish becomes a medium dark brown color, resulting from absorbing the colors of the browned initial ingredients and the cooked tomato paste. The pigeon peas themselves absorb the same, becoming a much darker brown, 
providing some contrast while still complementing the distinctive brown theme of the dish. In Thailand, pigeon peas are grown as a host for scale insects which produce lac, the key ingredient in shellac. Pigeon peas are in some areas an important crop for green manure, providing up to 90 kg nitrogen per hectare. The woody stems of pigeon peas can also be used as firewood, fencing, and thatch. It is an important ingredient of animal feed used in West Africa, especially in Nigeria, where it is also grown. Leaves, pods, seeds and the residues of seed processing are used to feed all kinds of livestock. The pigeon pea is the first seed legume plant to have its complete genome sequenced. The sequencing was first accomplished by a group of 31 Indian scientists from the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. It was then followed by a global research partnership, the International Initiative for Pigeon Pea Genomics, led by ICRISAT with partners such as BGI Shenzhen, U.S. research laboratories like University of Georgia, University of California Davis, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, and National Center for Genome Resources, European research institutes like the National University of Ireland Galway. It also received support from the Geyer Generation Challenge Program. U.S. National Science Foundation and in-kind contribution from the collaborating research institutes. It is the first time that a Geyer-supported research center such as ICRISAT led the genome sequencing of a food crop. There was a controversy over this as Geyer did not partner with a national team of scientists and broke away from the Indo-American Knowledge Initiative to parallelly start their own sequencing. CH equals choline, CA equals calcium, FE equals iron, MG equals magnesium, P equals phosphorus, K equals potassium, NA equals sodium, ZN equals zinc, CU equals copper, MN equals manganese, SC equals selenium. Percent DV equals percent daily value, i.e. percent of DRI note. All nutrient values including protein and fiber are in percent DV per 100 grams of the food item. Significant values are highlighted in light gray color and bold letters. Cooking reduction equals percent maximum typical reduction in nutrients due to boiling without draining for ovolacto vegetables group Q equals quality of protein in terms of completeness without adjusting for digestibility. Pigeon peas contain high levels of protein and the important amino acids methionine, lysine, and tryptophan. The following table indicates completeness of nutritional profile of various amino acids within mature seeds of pigeon pea. As can be seen from the table above, methionine and cysteine combination is the only limiting amino acid combination in pigeon pea. In contrast to the mature seeds, the immature seeds are generally lower in all nutritional values, however they contain a significant amount of vitamin C and have a slightly higher fat content. Research has shown that the protein content of the immature seeds is of a higher quality. Pathogens <laughs>